So I brought my new road bike to my Scottish Island workshop to build my dream bike. It's going to have a CVT and an automatic shifting system. It is possible to buy an automatic shifter for the Nuvinci of Enviolo hubs called Harmony, but it's um, a constant cadence controller, so you have to select cadence manually. And it also is not possible to use two chain rings with it. So I'm going to be keeping both on here to get the widest gear range that I can. Or ratio range. Um, there is a system called BioShift, which does adapt cadence depending on power output. But it's only available for derailleur gears. So I believe I'm the first person to put a fully automatic shifting system on a CVT road bike. I've uh, spent the last three years and 12,000 miles developing my shift system. Fallen in love with it so much that I'm going to install it on a nicer road bike. So this is the bike. It's a rally called something like Reveno 2. It's got disc brakes, front and rear. An absolute must in the wet climates I seem to end up living in. It's got derailleur gears obviously, which I will be getting rid of and simplifying all of that. I'll be installing a homemade power meter on the crank. It's got a very convenient hole in there for all the electronics. That's about it for the bike. Let's go and have a look inside because I have already started on the project so you can have a sneak peek. This is the MVLO Sportive Hub, the latest model that's only just become available. It's a redesign of the Nuvinci hubs which I have been riding for must be about eight years now so they sort of know me. They've been kind enough to provide me with this hub for testing. I'm sort of like an unofficial tester for them. The wheel here was an interesting build because the hub, they could only provide me with a 36 hole hub and road bike rims come with 32 or less. So a video about the build on that. Uh, also a video about the no turn washer on that side because that's a custom one. This is the electronics, the Arduino there, and the servo, the shift cables. There'll be multiple videos on that actually, um, all the different bits of it. These are the reed switches, I'm going to be installing those very shortly to get some level of automatic shifting, just constant cadence to get the power meter done. And that's the chain tensioner. So keep in touch with the channel and I will be posting videos from my Scottish Island workshop and thank you for watching.